Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're continuing the build of the LEGO Technic wheeled loader. So this is set, um, well, what set number is it? 42030. And um, this is where we're at so far. We have a lot of stuff going on here. If you've missed the other builds, make sure to check them out. There's links down below. But we're not going to spend too much time on that. We're going to go ahead and continue building this. So we've got a lot of power functions, we've got some motors, some IR receivers, we've got linear actuators that we actually haven't installed yet. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on with this set. And it is the flagship set from 2014, which means it's the not necessarily the most part count, but it is the largest and most complex set from 2014. Um, let's see here. I actually put that wrong one on. <coughs> <coughs> Now we have another motor to begin installing. We'll start with this frame element. Start by attaching a lot of pins. So here's the medium sized motor. So we've used an extra large motor, we've used a large motor, we have a servo motor in there, and then we've got two IR receivers, and this is the medium sized motor. So you could just see there's a ton of stuff going on with this set. So we will, let's see, this portion goes here. So be careful, the instructions show this wire going all the way through in here. So make sure that you get it in there and I just popped off that one part. Ah, this isn't working out so great. through there. Next little gear. And the blue tile on the connector piece. Alright, so 
that basically goes there. that through there and attach it to the blue one it's the last remaining one but you can see how the colors coordinate with each one that helps install everything in the right way so we'll turn this back around again Same element on each side, holding that together. Then we have this little T shaped piece holding the other side together. There we go. All right, this whole module built, and it basically slides in right here.
steering wheel. Alright, so now we have two of the linear actuator model modules. So we're gonna unscrew these guys. Oh, maybe not that far. So there's a little diagram in the instruction book that shows you kind of a one-to-one -one ratio on how far this should be extended. Let me make sure they're both about the same length. Do one more turn. Okay, that's good. So the instruction book shows two of them to be built, so we're gonna obviously build them both at the same time. There's no point of doing doing them individually if it's the exact same thing. Try to figure out the instructions. It's showing something a little bit goofy here. So it's showing both of these pointing through here. All right. Well, we'll try to figure this out. Bring this over, this slides into oops. Have one more gear, drop in here, and then that slides in there. side put that gear in there okay and I 
next up. Four long, single pin. Nice. Pins in there. Six, Next up, flip this around. It's getting so big now. They grow up so fast. It's basically the same thing as the other side. Slide that in and this element is there. still have a lot of big elements and I don't know if that's the way that goes but it sure does line up perfectly all right now we have the last linear actuator and basically you turn this it should come out no, you have to put an axle in there and hold the axle straight. There we go. So the instructions show a one-to-one -one picture of it. That's basically it right there. These two long axles will hold that connector on. Three long axle, a small bevel gear. Come on, there we go. And the last one of these gears goes there. seven long so it does show in the instructions that this yellow element goes like that all right. so that all connects together like so oops I needed a 
bushing in there. If I needed a bushing in those others down there, I guess not. Oops, it does show bushings in there. Let's see if I can get those out. Hmm, let me try to fix that real quick. All right, well, I've determined that part of my model is gonna have to not have those bushings and if it adversely affects the performance of the model. I'll have to disassemble it and put it back together. But as of right now, it's not easily accessible. I've gone too far, which is why you should pay attention to the instructions. Because if you don't, you'll go too far and mess it up. Or, I mean, it's not messed up, it's just those axles could slightly move but based on where they're at I really don't see them moving at all it's basically these right here should be a bushing right there where that black part is shown Which I don't think it'll matter all right so this is basically going to get us to a stopping point right now. So this concludes this portion of the build. We're getting really, really far along. We have all of our motors attached. We have the engine, we have our IR receivers. We're just continuing on. We're basically gonna start, I guess, building the body and the, um, I guess the bucket area right there. So thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the other parts. Um, we're officially about halfway done. So a lot, of, a lot of parts. This is a huge model. So thanks for sticking around to watch this whole thing. If you've watched all the parts so far, you're awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.